The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the August 19th, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, well, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two-by-four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 8 o'clock in the morning. That's right. If you listen at the normal time, which now is just past 11 o'clock, we'll make the show as pertinent as we can. Of course, if you are listening live, we would love to hear from you. So you can give us a call at 877-927-6648. Now, if you can't call in, you're listening between 8 and 9. You can always send me an email. Send that to steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question. Of course, inside our Tigers, then will any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, i got all the U.S. equity futures trading to the downside. Dow futures off 232 points, about 7 tenths of a percent. About 1% for the NASDAQ, that's 132 points. 9 tenths for the S&P, 36 points. A little over 1% for the uh, Russell, that's 22 points to the downside. Over in Asia last night, a bit of a mixed bag. The Shanghai, the Nikkei finishing lower. The Nikkei is in a large A to B equals CD to the upside. Still looks like it wants to continue to move higher. The Hang Seng was up by uh, nine bucks uh, over in Asia, uh, Asia, in Australia. It was a flat market for the Australian 200. Over in Europe this morning, we got a mixed bag there. You got the DAX trading to the downside by 73 points. The FTSE to the upside by 17 points out there. Gold is off six bucks. Silver's down 30 pennies. Platinum's off 10 bucks. Lights be crude trading now to 88.50. That's off a buck 60. You got natural gas pulling back. It's back 15 cents this morning. 9.04, 9.01 is the print there. 30 treasuries off one point and 12 ticks. She's trading at 139.02. So where do we begin? Let's begin by taking the goes daily equity futures charts. We'll go uh, switch over to our screen here, white background screen. See what they're signaling to you and I. So we begin with the daily charts. If you take a look at the ES mini. What we can see here, now one, it has a confirmed sell the D point pattern. It confirmed that on Wednesday when it generated that bear sash candle. Now what price is doing is testing its green oscillator and change line. That green oscillator and change line is printed at 42.55. If price closes below 42.55 today, we're trading at 42.50. But it closed below 42.55, then the ES mini will have lost its bullish momentum trend. That would then signal a move back to 41.77. Now it is a, it's, it's not the easiest to see right here. In fact, let me just do this. Let me do it. We'll switch back and forth. That way it becomes easy. Well, let's do. Let, let me let me first let me first say this. The ES mini. This is where we're going to we're, we're going to uh, change over. The ES mini, the NQ, and the uh, Dow and the Dow equity future contracts each have bearish uh, structured daily profiles. And what that means is that. Typically, if you get a close below the center of a bearish structured profile, price will gravitate down towards the bottom of that profile. So in the case of the ES Mini, that would be 41.77. The center of its profile, you can't really see it. It's at 42.63. The top you can see because you've got the number present, 43.27.50. The bottom's easy to see, 41.77. So really, uh, you got to watch that uh, oscillator and change line at day's end. Again, 42.55 is the print there. Now, the NQ is trading below its oscillator and change line. Again, bearish structure daily profile there. That suggests move back to 
one. Now, what we're not looking at here just yet are the intraday charts to see if there's any kind of a bottom signal. So we'll do that here momentarily. But first, just trying to get the big picture. The big picture for the Dow is it has not gotten its way, it's not made its way down to its oscillator and change line, but it should. That is currently printing at 33... 33,652. So 33,652 is a level to watch. The Russell 2000, it also has a sell the D point pattern that was formed on Wednesday when it generated a bearish engulfing candle. That day on Wednesday and then yesterday were nothing more than bullish tests of that green oscillator and change line. Now that is under attack right now. The green oscillator and change line for the daily time frame is at 1989. They close below that is going to suggest a move just slightly lower, and that would be the bottom of its profile which is currently pricing at 1968.55 out there. So that's the level to be watching inside of the Russell 2000. I guess I don't really need to change over to those other screens out there. I think I've uh, kind of helped you to understand about the bearish uh, structured daily profiles and what they mean out there. So what do you, you got to really take a look at each chart out here. The Dow right now is stronger, but still trading with inside its bearish structured profile. So we'll see what happens or we want to see what happens as price, the Dow that is, tests that green oscillator and change line. So now let's go switch over. And we've got a couple minutes here before we go to a break. And let's go take a look at, I want to take a look at the NQ first. So we'll take a look at the NQ charts. And here, uh, the shortest term time frame chart that I've got here is a 30-minute uh, time frame chart as we speak. Now what we can see is that the 60-minute chart has confirmed a road momentum indicator bottom. It did that because when it came into the 8 o'clock session, you had a little, uh, looks like a uh, bearish bullish engulfing. Let me see here. Now you had a piercing candle. It didn't close above the open. So you had a nice bullish piercing candle. However, price is trading below the bottom of the profile. The bottom, uh, it's trading below its red oscillator and change line. And that's where price needs to overcome if there's going to be any kind of a rally. Now, we're talking about a rally on the 60-minute time frame chart, so we're focused on its levels of support or resistance out here. Support would be the low of the day because of that bullish piercing candle. And that low is at uh, 13,358 and a quarter. A close below that on a 60-minute basis said we're, says we're headed lower out here. Resistance, 13,425. If price can close above that, then you should see move to 13,425. 499. What happens if price, we take out the lows, where does that take us to? Well, the 120-minute chart formed bar number seven as we came into the eight o'clock session. If we see a move lower here, again, uh, just at least a pierce or a move lower below the lows of the day so far, the two-hour chart is going to form bar number eight of a TD9 count. Now, unfortunately, it's a two-hour chart. So that says by 10 o'clock, but you really wouldn't, you got to get bar number nine. That says by noon out there. And uh, then you've got the bar following bar number nine. So really wouldn't know till about two o'clock this afternoon uh, whether the uh, whether a TD nine count pattern is setting up inside the NQ or not. By noon you would have a good indication. It's just that noon to uh, noon to two o'clock bar where you could see price continuing to move lower. So you've got two potential bottoming patterns out. There's really only one right now. You won't get to the uh, to the two hour potential TD nine count unless you pierce. Uh, below uh, the lows of the uh, morning out there. The 240-minute chart suggests a move back to 13.355, 13.335, and the five-hour chart, 13.342. Those are the two levels of support there. So if these fails, what that's going to tell us is that price is really going to go target or should go target the bottom of that daily profile, and that level again is 13.041. That's what the charts for the NQ say. We can continue doing this, but I want to take a few questions. We've got a few from David. David wants to take a look at uh, Conoco Phillips, COP, CMEX, CX, and uh, AMAT out there. So we'll do that when we get back to this break. We have purchasing power is eroded. There's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16-year mine life. All of this 
combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, diverse partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. 8.18 in the morning. We are recording today's show between 8 and 9. And, uh, you know, before we go over and take a look at the uh, individual requests out there, let me just give you the kind of an overview of what's going on in the um, markets out there. So we took a look at the NQ out there. Uh, if we take a look uh, in the upper left-hand corner of this set of charts here, there are nine panel market update charts. See the ES Mini? You can see the center of that profile there. We know that prices test and oscillator and change line. And I uh, get a close below that, and you're below the center of that daily profile. That's what brings that 4177 into play. Now, spot politics is still below its 50-day exponential moving average. And that's priced at 2368. We do have a little bit of a rising bottoms pattern out there. So it does say be careful. The NQ, you can see it's trading below the center of its uh, daily profile. That's at 13507. And that is suggest to move back to the 13041 level. U.S. dollar index is on a tear. It's going to go target the top of its weekly profile. That's at 108.39. It closed above that. Then it has resistance at the uh, recent high out here. That was a high from the trading session of July 14th. That would be at the 109.14. You close above that, and you're off to the races to the upside. You've got gold pulling back. It's below the bottom of its daily profile. If this is just a counter trend move to the downside, gold should find support at 1757.50. That is the center of its bearish structured weekly profile. When you close above a bearish structured weekly profile, which in this case your gold is done, if it's only a counter trend move to back to the downside, price will find support at the center of that profile. That's at 1757 level. In the case of silver, it's trading below the bottom of its daily profile and trading into a bullish structured weekly profile. So the support area for silver is between 1847 and 1893. Again, 1847 to 1893. We take a look at uh, Light Sweet Crew, the October contract, really trading between trendline support and trendline resistance and with inside its daily profile, which ranges from 86.25 at support or the bottom and 89.77 as resistance up at the top. 
If you take a look at natural gas, natural gas has resistance at that 956 level that was tested yesterday and the day before. It's just consolidating with inside its daily profile out here. If price does close below 883, then likely we would see a move back to 822 out there. That's the bottom of the October contract for natural gas. And the 30 year Treasury trading below the bottom of its daily profile. It's trading below a TD9 count bottom pattern. I believe that formed on August the 12th. That low is 139.16. You close below that, we're at 138.30. That's going to suggest to move back to the bottom of its weekly profile. And that's at 135.26. So at least this way, that's a good overview of many of the markets that uh, you you know that that folks are interested in. And now let's go take a look at those specific requests. We've got uh, requests that have come in both from uh, Hector and from David. So let's go to David's request first. He was the first that was in the queue. And uh, we'll change screens out here. So give me a moment. We're going to go take a look at ConocoPhillips. So the questions are from David. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. Please take a look at oil the oil contract. We'll do that. And ConocoPhillips. I'm looking for a buy point in ConocoPhillips. Okay. So ConocoPhillips yesterday formed bar number eight of a TD9 count. This morning, right now, as of 8.21 in the morning, ConocoPhillips is trading out at, uh, the last trade fired off at 102.50, 102.89, 103.18. So those are the last three trades out there. Uh, that is still above, well, the last trade that fired off is actually back below the top of the uh, daily profile. So a TD9 count top, David, will form today if ConocoPhillips closes above closes above 100.77. If it does that, then what we're looking at is price pulling back to its oscillator and change zone, which changed colors about three or four days ago. It could do that test today. So 98.07 would be one area to consider for a long position in ConocoPhillips. Another area would be the center or the bottom of its daily profile. That's at 95.48 or 90. Uh, 99 out there. If we look at the weekly time frame chart, a close today above 101.19 is going to suggest a run back towards its recent highs out there. But you still got the TD9 count pattern to deal with inside of uh, ConocoPhillips today. But it depends upon its close. So really with regard to ConocoPhillips, I know you're looking for a buy point. I really think you got to see, or I would need to see, how does today play out? Does it confirm or does it negate? Does it just simply get rid of the TD9 count pattern because price closes below the close of bar number five? And I don't know the answer to that. We do know that it's pulling back and it's trading lower. We know Lights Week Crude is trading lower. We're gonna go take a look at that for you. You had that request out there. Monthly chart still looks uh, pretty much neutral. It's got the TD9 count top and prices above its green oscillator and change line consolidating with inside its monthly profile. So the next resistance level to the upside is the top of that monthly profile. And that's at 112.48. And that's as long as price remains above 101.19. So with regard to ConocoPhillips, if you were to ask me today, twist my arm and say, where's the buy point? Well, right now it would have to be 98.07. That is the daily green oscillator and change line. You also said, please go take a look at Lightsweet Crude. So let's go take a look at Lightsweet Crude. We'll look at the uh, eight panel multi time frame chart out here. We begin with the daily chart. So the daily chart shows that price is just simply uh, trading with inside its uh, daily profile. It still has a buy the D point pattern. If we take a look at the October contract, I think I'm just noticing this. There was a nice bullish engulfing candle that formed on July 15th. A bullish engulfing candle says that the support level will be the low of all the candles it engulfs. Well, the only candle that it really, well, the candle that it engulfed out here that's of importance was July 14th. That July 14th low, that's a key area to be watching, is 86.07. Price has not been able to close below that level. Price did close below that level. David, that says that Lightspeed Crude heads lower out there. So you still have the buy the D point pattern with price consolidating with inside its daily profile. As long as 80, well, I've already given you the parameters for that. The resistance level to the upside is at 94.27. If we look at a five-hour time frame chart, what do we have out here? I don't have anything much, anything much. Man, you just got to love the early morning grammar school out here. Um, uh, price has pulled back and is testing the level of support, and that is its oscillator and change line. If price closes below that level, I know, what is that level? I've got to just zoom in on it. It's a 88.31. Then you're looking at a move back to 86.37 or 85.48. 
If you look at Light Sweet Crude for its 240 minute chart, again, price testing support. That's the bottom of its profile at 8808. So I'd say 8808 right now is a key level for you to be watching or observing. No bottoming pattern on the 120 minute chart. A TD nine count bottom that has formed on the 60 minute chart out there that will remain in effect unless price closes below the level of 88.18. And he had 88.08 on that 240 minute chart out there. So you like that as a key level to be watching and observing. You can see the ultra intraday charts out there, 15 minute and 10 minute do have some bottoming patterns out there. Roadsmith them indicating bottoming patterns, but no levels of resistance or key levels of resistance have been taken out. So overall, what do we have with regard to light sweet crude? Right now, I just come back and say we've got that bottom that still is in place and just a consolidation that really is running between about 87.43 and 94.27. Now, you had a couple of other requests out there. Uh, one was for CMEX. CX is the uh, ticker symbol out there. So let's go back to our three panel chart out here. This will take just a moment to go ahead and populate. Well, that's populating. Let me see what uh, CX is doing here in the uh, pre-market. It uh, closed yesterday at uh, 4.38. It's trained at 4.32 right now. And the uh, top of its daily profile, David, is 4.23. If we get back from this break, we'll finish looking at CMEX and then move over to AMAT and then the XLE for Hector and Patty. Be right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. 829 in the morning. Dow equity futures off 253. That's about 7 tenths of a percent. NASDAQ off 1 and 1 tenth percent. 150 points of the downside. S&P is off about 1 percent or 40 points. And the Russell is down 1 and a quarter percent, 24 points of the downside. We're we'll taking a look at CMEX. Ticker symbol here is CX. This is for David H. He's looking for an entry point. And the reason, good, good reason to be looking for an entry point. If you look at the monthly chart out there, you see a nice TD9 count and buy the D point pattern. That at least suggests a run up to the 511-ish area, 517. Uh, that's the bottom of its monthly profile in its oscillator and change line. You've got a confirmed by the D point pattern in the weekly time frame as well. And it looked like last week we were in breakout mode, meaning price closed above the top of its profile. Uh, but if it does close below 456 today, that suggests, okay, you just have a consolidation potentially with inside that profile, and price could get back to 382. Now, price is above the top of the daily profile. That's at 423. If price closes below that, you're looking for an entry point. Then the entry point is really between 399 and 405 out there. Now, the confirmation of price pulling back to that level today, uh, David, would be watching the 30-minute time frame chart, which has a valid TD9 count bottom pattern out there. And if price closes below the bottom of that pattern, that would be uh, 435. That's going to suggest lower price out there. So you get below 435. Where does that take us to? Well, you still have 423 to deal with. That's the top of the daily profile. So right now, your entry points are 399, 405, and 423 inside of CBEX. You also want to take a look at uh, American Tower, AMAT out here. So let's go take a look at it see what it is doing i believe you're looking for an entry point here as well applied, i'm sorry applied materials uh buy point on cmix and applied materials so with regard to applied materials out here price is consolidating with inside its daily profile let me look at the at the monthly first so the monthly it's not like there's an a to b equals cd to the downside You've got wave number seven, that's letter G. So you do have a confirmed bottom on the weekly. Price is above the top of its profile. It's been above it for now uh, four consecutive weeks out there. So that says breakout. So you're looking for an entry point here. And I would say with regard to uh, applied materials, let me see where it's trading right now in the uh, pre-market, AMAT. And it's trading at 109. Uh, so it's uh, it's still within inside the daily profile. So the bottom of that profile, which was tested yesterday and uh, held, was the uh, 104.77 level. So 104.77 would be your entry point for um, applied materials. So David, thanks so much for writing in so early, and I hope that helps you out and have a, a fantastic. Friday and a fantastic uh, weekend out there. Next question coming in from Hector, and Hector wanted to take a look at the XLE. So let me actually read his question out here. Happy early bird, fabulous Friday uh, night uh, high school football opener. Oh, now that is a uh, beautiful thing. Youngest is a senior. Now that's very cool. Got to love that. So uh, congrats, and uh, hopefully uh, it's a, a great uh, game. The XLE, please, resistance support and the oscillator and change line out there. And uh, so let's go take a look at it. So with regard to the uh, support levels, oscillator and change line in the daily time frame, 7609. That's a level of support. The first level of support, though, would be 7787. 7787 is the top of its daily profile, uh, and that price had closed above yesterday. Uh, below 7609, uh, and price right now is trading at 7853. Uh, so it's still above the top of that daily profile. But below the oscillator and change line, you're looking at 73.91 to 72.32. Monthly time frame chart still has a TD9 count top with price consolidating with inside its profile and above its green oscillator and change line. The monthly time frame chart is neutral. The weekly time frame chart price is trying to close above the top of its weekly profile. The top of the weekly profile for the XLE is 79.40. If price can close above that this week, it really needs two consecutive closes, that would then suggest a run back to its recent highs out there. And in the case of the uh, daily time frame chart, as long as price really remains above uh, 77.87, the signal is it wants to complete that A to B equals CD pattern. I just have the C to D leg drawn in, and that gives you a price projection area of about uh, 83.92. Don't quote me right to the uh, penny out there. But uh, that's what it signals. So is the XLE still bullish? The answer is yes. Curious, did the XLE take out its uh, swing point yesterday with volume? So I just want to take a look at uh, that, another swing point 
uh, or a, the swing point that would generate that A to B equals C. Well, it's generated whether it was with volume or not out here, as long as price remains above that 70, 787 area. So the volume on that swing point from July 29th was 25 million. Yesterday was 23.4. So not bad. Uh, not, uh, you know, didn't exceed it, but considering it's summertime, I'd have to say, Hector and Patty, uh, that is not bad. So uh, congrats on your son's uh, Friday night football. Uh, those are some of the uh, best of uh, days out there. Those days are long gone. Not until my uh, grandsons uh, uh, get to that age, but that's going to be a while out there. So uh, let's go to our next request. The next request is coming from SNP inside the Tiger's Den. Let's take a look at uh, LABD. LABD. That is, uh, I think that's a triple, isn't it? LABD. Is that a triple out there? Direction share, biotech bear. So that is for the S&P, which I believe is the, uh, thanks, uh, is, uh, what is, is it the XBI? Is that the S&P or is that the NASDAQ? I think the SBI, X, XBI is the S&P. Okay. So we'll do the LABD, but uh, really I want to go take a look at uh, uh, go take a look at the XBI as well. So with regard to LABD, you've got a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom on the daily time frame. That was confirmed on the trading day of August 16th. Prices with inside it's a bullish structure daily profile. Price closed just above the center yesterday. The center of that profile is 1879. If price uh, stays above that 1879 level, what it's suggesting S&P is around the 2285. On the weekly time frame, we do not have any kind of a bottom pattern out there. And uh, the monthly, we, because it's a triple, we really can't look at it. So now let's go switch over and take a look at XBI and uh, see what kind of signals we have from it. So when you're trading the triples, really best to take a look at the individual um, or the one-to-one -one out here. So now we take a look at XBI. Well, wait, the... Uh, Hold on, LABD was the, that was the short or the long, LABD is the, is the, uh, is the short, right? LABD is the, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, short, thank you. Uh, it just it's, it's 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 Friday morning, it's 8.37, you know, senior moments and so forth. So we take a look at XBI, what this is suggesting to us is that uh, with price below the uh, it's oscillator and change line, and uh, let me just change over to my other chart. It's going to be easier for Stevie's eyes to uh, read. I'm trying to find where's the top of that profile out here. So the top of the profile, well, the top of the profile is at 83.63, and both the bottom and the center are um, at the uh, same level of 80.36. So it does look like what XBI wants to do. Uh, this is supporting what we just took a look at with regard to the LABD, is XBI wants to go target support, which would be 83.63 out there. You've got a weekly TD9 count pattern that is going to uh, complete today or form today uh, so long as price closes above, and this seems likely, but as long as price closes above 80.68. So you're going to have a weekly topping signal. And a price then can close below 86.41. So that's really a level to be watching. That's the top of the weekly profile. If you get below 86.41, then you're looking at 83.63 to 80.36 out there. You do have a weekly by the D point pattern. So uh, the uh, short side may be short lived out there. So watch 86.41 first. And then below that, watch uh, 83.63. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, S&P inside the Tiger's Den. We get back from this break. We're going to go take a look at ticker symbol SLVO. And this is for Frank inside our Tiger's Den. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, we're taking a look at SLVO. SLVO is a Credit Suisse NASA Tracker uh, Zero, uh, whatever that is out there. And right now, what it did yesterday is it closed below the bottom of its bullish structure daily profile, 404. Trading right now in the pre-market at 395. Now, price is pulling back into this gap out here, Frank. That gap had volume to the upside. That's on July 28th of um, 390. Uh, thousand uh, contracts or shares, I should say, and yesterday was pulling back with 156,000, but uh, still trading. So the gap out here, the low of that session, this is what you're watching for, is 399, near 395 in the pre-market. If price closed below 399, odds would favor that price will go fill the gap, and that means that price would get down to the to the area of about 391 out there. Now. I'd say another confirmation of that, if you see the weekly chart price is pulled back and it's testing that oscillator and change line, which looks like that is printing at $4 even Steven. So another area of potential support for you is between 383 and 392, bullish structured weekly profile. And we said the top of that gap was at 391. So I'd say odds favor right now that uh, price is going to pull back there. And uh, should find support, again, in that 383 to 392 level out there. So I hope that helps you out, uh, Frank, or gives you the information that you were looking for. I don't believe there are any other requests inside of the Tiger's Den out there. Uh, but if you would like me to uh, look at something, there's nothing that I've got by email at this moment. Uh, please go ahead and just simply type that in, and uh, Stevie here will be happy to get to it. In the meantime, we'll go take a look at, um, let's go back. To look at, let me see what's going on in the equity markets here. So down about 210, 220 now inside the Dow. So let's go back and take a look at. We looked at the NQ. Let's go look at the ES Mini out here. Again, just trying to get a feel for first if there's any kind of uh, bottoming signal. So uh, on the intraday charts. Now the intraday, the shortest intraday chart that I've got here is a 30-minute time frame. So what do we know? 
again, looking at and looking at the East Minute, but start with the thirty minute out here. The thirty minute has what? Certainly, there's an A to B equals CD to the downside that I see. You did get your bullish reversal candle, and uh, so now what price is doing? It's dealing with that oscillator and change line, and uh, that level is at forty two fifty one. If price closes above 4251, this is the ES mini, then price should run to 4257. If price closes above 4257, then price should run to 4268. That's coming from the 30 minute time frame chart. The 60 minute chart out here shows us what? Shows us not much. So no bottom. Well, I would take that back. Clear there is a there is an A to B equals C D pattern that has formed. You got your bullish piercing candle. That is suggesting run to 4259. So the confirmation of that would really come from the 30-minute chart with price closing above its oscillator and change on at 42.51. So I'd say if price closed above that 42.51, the run to 42.59, 42.57 is uh, where price would uh, likely uh, head to. Uh, if we look at the uh, – if the lows get taken out, so let's talk about if the lows get taken out of this morning, then the next area where price is likely going to head to is 42.11. The 4211 is the breakout support for the uh, two-hour time frame. So right now, that's what's going on inside of the ES Mini out here. We've got Brent in Martinez, California that's on the phone. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. And good early morning to you. Good morning, Steve. How are you? I'm doing uh, just fine. Thanks so much for uh, getting up early and joining us. And how are you? Oh, I'm doing great. How are you? Good, good, good. Okay, so we got the how, how are you's out of the out of the equation out there, and uh, you want to take a look at the SQQQ. That's the short, right, for the uh, Nasdaq. Yeah, I took a short trade, getting towards the end of the close yesterday. Okay. So I bought into this with some calls that they're actually expiring today. So my plan is just to sell them when the market opens. But I didn't catch the first half of the show so i've kind of you probably talked about the you know the keys and different levels to be looking at but i just uh do you see sure. any reason not to just make that move kind of first thing if the market opens okay so let's do this here yes we've talked about the uh nqs out there but uh happy to do that again and what i'm gonna do here is i'm putting up really my ultra short term chart so the longest time frame that we're looking at here is the uh, daily and so let's just simply start uh, by, as soon as this gets populated here, we'll start with the alter short term, which is a 10 minute, then 15 minute, then we go to the 30. So with regard to a 10 minute time frame chart out there, you do have a uh, bullish uh, piercing candle that formed a road momentum indicator bottom. The resistance level out here, the first resistance level is 13,396. If price closes above that, you're looking at 13,409. If price closes above that, then it's the top of the profile, 13,421. So the 10 minute chart says, you would go ahead and jettison that position if price closed above 13,421, because that would, for at least that time frame, suggest a, a change in trend. The 15-minute chart, which also has a confirmed road momentum indicator bottom, has resistance. This is a resistance zone because of the bearish structured profile for that time frame. Brett, and that says that if price were to close above 13,406, 13,405.75 to be exact out there, then that's going to suggest uh, that a, a move would uh, that price would move higher. Now we know that 13,421 is the resistance level on the 10-minute chart out there, but you could say a close above 13,405 would be a signal from a 50-minute time frame chart to go ahead and close out the uh, short. On the 30-minute uh, time frame chart, what we have out here is uh, nothing. We have the potential of a buy the D point pattern. It depends where price closes at 9 a.m. Right now, you've got a bullish piercing candle. But really, on the 30 minute chart out there, all you really have to watch for is the oscillator and change line, which is something I know that you do watch. If price were to close above that, that's at 13,390, Brent, then that could be a signal that, okay, time to jettison that short position. That would be an early call out there because that would, but, but if we look at that oscillator and change line, you can see that this is held as resistance since about um, on August the 18th. That would be yesterday. Today, since about uh, 1830 so what is that 630 in the uh, 12 six yeah that's 630 in the evening out there so close above that could be suggesting a change in trend the 60 minute chart would say you've got to close above 13 425 uh, to give you a change in trend no there's a lot of figures that have been thrown out there your question specifically was is there any reason your question was what is there any reason to not sell at the open right yeah exactly yeah um, it's a call position out there. You know, I'd, I'd, 
I would. So here's what I, here's what I would here's what I would also say. The Nasdaq and the DAX tend to follow each other, and the DAX is trading lower by about 70 points today. It's kind of an indication that we should see the NQ close lower out here. And uh, I'd like to see the NQ at least close above 13,390 or so, about 13,390 before I would jettison that position. And that's just looking at that 30 minute chart and at oscillator and change line. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does very much, so, Steve. Yeah. Um, I mean, there could be higher levels out there, but, you know, the, the thing that I'll throw out is, so the NQ, what you didn't hear about the NQ is that price is trading right now below the center of its profile. And the center of that profile is at 13507 It's a bearish structured profile, but you've got expiration today, so this may not really come into play today. But typically, I'll just share this again with you, when you close below the center of a bearish structured profile, price will usually gravitate down to 13041 so even if it doesn't do that today, but you do close below the 13.507 level, we're likely going to see a move back to that area. Hey, Brett, we're going to a break here. You are welcome to hold on through that break and come back with any other follow-up questions. If not, have a fantastic weekend. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, Dow equity futures off 202, uh, NASDAQ off 133, S&P 34, Russell's down 20 as we speak. Uh, do we still have Brent on the line? Yes, you do, Steve. Perfect, perfect. Uh, so we can see here, uh, if we're watching uh, Tiger TV, uh, the NQ is testing that 13, 391 uh, level. What additional follow-up questions can I help you with? I think I'm just going to sell the thing out, Steve. I mean, I was able to get them at a, you know, since they only had the day left. 
Yes. I only paid 35 cents a contract. And then looking at where it's trading now, I'll, I'll be able to have a double without, you know, I'm pretty certain of that. And so there's no reason to not just take that trade and, you know, enjoy the weekend at that point. Absolutely. No, absolutely. So what plans do you have for the weekend? Well, my son, uh, youngest son, the one I told you about the last time I talked to you, the one that's kind of the bold, <laughs> the bold one, is uh, he's moving up further north. His uh, girlfriend, soon to be fiance, is she got her job at a hospital up there, and and I'm sure you know where Redding is at. Sure, it's kind congrats of and, yeah, congrats on that part of the state. Yeah, yeah. And uh, anyway, so he's moving up there with her. They were in Chico, and now they're moving up to there. She got the job up there, and so. Um, that's the plan. So I might try to go help him do that. My oldest son's going to do the same. So that's okay, that, good. You know, other things other, that are more fun than that, but I think it would be great to help him out. I know it's not the easiest thing to do. So No, absolutely, to- absolutely. And I've seen a bunch of uh, pictures of different uh, uh, and you know uh, uh, parents helping their kids move into college this weekend, too. So I know that's going on across the board. Th- those are always fun things. And it is great to help your kids, you know, move on to that uh, next uh, chapter out there. Just be careful of the back out there. So, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I helped them move into the place. So at least this time I'm going downstairs, not upstairs. So Okay, good. Okay. okay. That's, good. that's great. That's great. Well, congrats on uh, that, Brent, and, uh, and on the uh, trade as well. And always good to hear from you. So have a, a great weekend, and uh, we'll look forward to uh, seeing you, uh, hopefully uh, speaking to you again next week. All right. Do the same, Steve. Thank you so much. And just, you know, take care. Have a great weekend. You bet. You bet. So, folks, to kind of summarize it uh, here, uh, you know, you've got equity futures trading lower. Uh, watch the uh, center of those uh, profile levels out there. And uh, just have a stay tuned here all day long at TFNN. So have a fantastic Friday, a fantastic weekend. We'll see you on Monday, 11 o'clock sharp. Take care. Be safe out there.